7 beta 1. Before I make this video, I would just like to say um, my YouTube channel has gone on and off in many different directions from making random videos about rants to hacking videos for certain games to videos about my phone and about my DJ setup. And starting this summer is the first time in a while that I've had some free time. Now, with my junior year of high school almost done, I finally found some time where I think I'm going to try to make this a very serious channel. What I mean is that my 18th birthday is coming up in a couple months and I'll be able to finally be a legitimate YouTube partner. So therefore I'm going to try to make very professional videos with intros and all sorts of different links and I'm going to also try to advertise my stuff and hopefully do some giveaways and all of that sort of great stuff so if you're on board with me already which I already got a good amount of subscribers for someone that just casually uploads videos every once in a while then awesome if not then I hope that you share my videos like them subscribe if you like my stuff um, I'm not exactly sure at the time where the videos are gonna actually go like whether I'm gonna be doing all reviews or all iPhone, iOS stuff, or I'm going to be mixing around, and I don't even know yet, however, whatever the content is, I'm sure you'll be pleased, because it's all about tech, alright, so let's get off with this video, alright, so, let me see, I'm just going to get the best angle for this, alright, so here's the things that I do not like about iOS 6, oops, sorry about that, Alright, so to start off, now this is something that you're not going to be able to see um, in this video. However, um, the auto brightness, there is definitely something up with it. Now, what I mean by that, focus really well. What I mean by that is that the auto brightness is making my phone a lot brighter than it should be. Right now, my screen is on super, super bright, like if you look at it in person. However, the room isn't actually even that bright, so it's a little bit off. So I definitely think that they need to work on that. Um, I don't know what it is. Maybe that's the way it's going to stay probably, but I find that the auto brightness is a little bit too bright in most situations. So I think the sense is a little bit too sensitive. All right, the next thing is I know this is beta, so I'm not going to complain about it because I know this is going to change. However, on the iPhone 4S, a lot of the animations are laggy. Now, people in my um, school complain that on their iPhone 4, it's wicked laggy. Well, to be honest, that's expected because the iPhone 4 is three-year-old hardware. However, on the 4S, I think that the fact that iOS 6 runs almost as fast on the iPhone 4S as it does on the 5, I think that it should be able to keep up with some of the basic animations on iOS 7. So hopefully that gets fixed. Now, places where you can notice this are in um, the, what's it called, the search bar. See, look at that lag. It, like, it lags when you pull it down. Now, you, see, you can see that, hold on, you can see that this doesn't lag whatsoever. This is smooth as hell. This is d smooth as hell as well, except this bar lags, which I do not like. I'm not a fan of whatsoever. Uh, the next feature is something that I can't really show you, but I'm going to explain it to you. On the messages, um, let me see if I can go to them. Sometimes up here it glitches. Now, I can't really show you this right now. I'll try to, um, I'll, I don't really know how to duplicate it. Well, I'm sorry about that. I don't really know how to duplicate it, but like, um, event, sometimes the messages up here, like, say, um, my, I'm talking to my dad. That sometimes when you shift over, huh? And this 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 feature of scrolling over to the side doesn't always work very well. It's kind of slow. 
But anyway, sometimes when, sorry, sometimes when you, um, have, say, I see his name's up there. Sometimes when you leave it at the top where it says messages, his name will still appear there over the messages. So basically it'll look like a jumble of letters all connected. So, I mean, that's really annoying and it's a little bug that I found. Um, let's see, what else? I'm trying to think. Okay, the reminders. Um, this is a problem. Like, whenever I click on something, see that black appears for no reason? And then when I click done, like, it, like if I'll do it again, say so I'll do, like, test. Or not, not test. And I click done, black will appear. Try, sometimes when I try to delete things, as you're going to see, won't delete. See, I pull the bar over. It won't delete it. Now it'll delete it. And see it goes black. So that's a little bug that I found. Um, also, leave down in the comments below. Sorry about that. Leave down in the comments below. Why is it? How do I get rid of... Um, you see, I got all these different things in my reminders. I got reminders, iCloud reminders, my name, schedule. All I want is just this one right here that says reminders. That's the only one I really want. So I don't really know how to make it so it's like that. But it's kind of annoying. Alright, so, let me see. The next thing uh, is the is all of the, I almost said the utilities, the folders. So if you go into a folder, you see, it's kind of smooth, but it's a little bit slow. So that's just a little thing I found that can be fixed. As well as when you edit a folder, I find that um, sometimes, let me see if I can get it to happen. See how it's shaking like a ton? If you saw that split second... The app starts shaking a lot, and then they start shaking slower, so that's like a weird little bug. I found that. That's kind of weird. Um, the next thing that I want to point out is the phone app. It takes a while. See? Look how long it takes to open. Now, finally, I can start typing. Now, why on iOS 6 would the phone app be 100% instantly opens, you open it, start typing? But even now, boom. It opens now, but if it's not in the background, it takes a long time. I noticed that. I do not like that. Um, next thing that I would like to do is I would like to talk about photos. Now, one thing I've noticed with the photos, I can't show this to you right now because it's not happening right now, but half the time that I open the Photos app, it opens to a blank black screen, and then it doesn't load again. So that is one little thing that can be fixed that I would like to see. Alright, the last thing I'm going to go through, which is my biggest pet peeve, um, is the switcher. So the switcher, it's kind of slow. Um, you see it's pr decently smooth, and like closing it in the app is pretty smooth, but the time it takes to open it, there's a delay, and if you open it quick and then try to go through them, See, that's all those seconds of swiping that were unresponsive. So, I mean, it just makes my phone feel like it's slow. See? See what I'm talking about? Like, on the iPhone 5, since the specs are um, a little bit better than this, on the iPhone 5, you go here, you can automatically just start. But on here, you have to wait. That's a little thing I know that can be fixed. Um, I just wanted to point it out. All right, so that is what I found to be bugs on iOS 7 Beta 1. And I'd like to say that as far as a beta goes, this isn't that bad. I mean, I almost kind of want to go back to iOS 6 for now. But at the same time, I feel like there's a lot in store on iOS 7. And I feel like it's more, as me being a kind of a tech nerd, it would be more rewarding for me to actually wait and then see what happens with iOS 7 and really get to see its development as it goes through all the betas. Alright, guys. That's going to wrap it up for today. I hope you enjoyed my video, and I hope you enjoyed the quality. I'm always going to be uploading at 1080p, and I hope that you guys appreciate that because it takes a while to upload when you do that. All right, guys. Peace. Have a good day.